Yes. Uh, well, you were uttering the, the words King Constantine. Oh, yeah, I, thought, I, I thought you said King Turpentine. I'm sorry. <laughs> King Constantine. So this is about yesterday's yeah. story. This is a memorial service yeah. for the um, exiled Greek king. Yeah. And it was attended by lots of senior royals. They were all there. They were all there. Should have been William, but obviously mysteriously pulled out 45 minutes before. That's a bit odd, isn't Very it? Very mysterious. Very mysterious. And obviously King Charles being a little unwell. And who was there at the front of the parade? Mm. We've got some images of Bustling it. Bustling himself forward. Look at that. Yeah. Prince Andrew, who is no longer a working royal, pushed his way to the front. Fergie's with him. Dear me, why do you want to see her? Can, and, can you think uh, of a sentence involving the words scrape, bottom barrel. and barrel? Yeah. <laughs> and he's loitering outside, mm. he's introducing people to whoever's conducting the service for the, the late Greek king. Uh, and he's just revelling at every moment, of yeah, it, isn't he? he is. It's not a great look. Mike, <laughs> an yeah. absolute disgrace, honestly. Those pictures go around the world. Yeah. Now, very rarely do I have anything in agreement with the Daily Mirror, but I'm absolutely with them for their front page today. Sprint, Prince still doesn't get it. Yeah. Absolutely with it. His, I mean, his sense of self-awareness oh, no. seems to have completely dissipated in the mist. You know, the man who will forever be remembered for giving a lady £12 million, pounds, never despite met. the the fact that he said, I've never met her, I've never done anything wrong. I think his mother gave him that. Well, well, well I, I, I'm sure he did, but, but the, you, what you've just said about him, ambling his way to the front, he's grinning yeah. in this front page picture. Yeah, he's yeah. grinning because he thinks, do you know what? I'm back there. And he yeah. elbowed his way to the front and thinks, I'm the, the head of the family. Three paces behind him was the Princess Royal, who, in my view, should yeah. have led the parade. Absolutely. Let's be honest, he's she never should. been found guilty. Of yeah. anything. Yeah, but he, he? but he did, as Mike said, write a cheque for £12 million yeah. pounds mm. to a woman he claims he may never have even met. Yeah. Um, that um, does suggest guilt. And, Bev, sorry to jump in again. Yeah. The famous picture is of him and Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein in Central Park after Epstein had been convicted right. and served a sentence yeah. for being a paedophile. Yeah. Should a member of the British Royal Family yeah. be walking around Central Park with a man like that? I watched no. the documentary, mm. Stephen, the other day mm. about mm. Epstein that's on Netflix and the way that he was living his life, mm. the number of young girls that came mm. through those doors, the massage mm. beds, mm. the oh, part please, art. Yeah. It's seedy and depraved mm. beyond belief. Mm. It is. He was his mate. He was. I know. I know. And there was flying backwards and forwards to the island. No, it's, it's disgusting. But look, I, I think what's terrifying about this is, firstly, this was a big deal, this one. They were cr you know, crowned heads all over Europe with King that. Spain it, flew in for it especially. You know, and, and, of course, you know, um, King Constantine, which I think Mike said is a second, second cousin, cousin, to, second the cousin King. to King Charles. Yeah. Yeah. And even worse, the Princess Royal, a person of impeccable, unimpeachable mm. dignity and probity, there in her naval uniform, she should have been there. Instead exactly. of having this, I have to say, I use the word disgraced. I mean, I appreciate your, yeah. your point about legal, but he is disgraced. Yeah, of course he is. And to have him shoving and pushing and grinning his way to the front mm. is an absolute and, insult. And, and then inside the Abbey, yeah. in the, he is in the front row, four oh. seats away from yeah. Queen Camilla. Yeah. You see, I've yeah. mentioned in body language yeah. Zara Phillips there, of course, Princess Anne's daughter, yeah. and her husband, the fabulous Mike Tyndall, yeah. former England rugby player. Yeah. I rather wanted Mike Tyndall to go up to Prince Andrew. Pick him up. Or get him in a headlock <laughs> yeah. and get him to the back of the queue. If yeah. anyone's yeah. man, it's the amazing Or just Mike pick Tindall. him up and yeah, throw him aside. Look at the Princess you know? Royal there. Yeah. Look, it's, you know, it's yeah. elegant, but, but, but isn't this terrifying about what might happen to the royal family if... It comes to the worst. Yeah. You know, we still don't know uh, the precise diagnosis for the king. We'd all like to, but we wish him the very best. But with the king out of the, pa the picture and, and Prince William out of the picture, the Prince of Wales, what are we left with? And the yeah. Princess what are we left with? Recovering. Absolutely. Something that we do not know the detail of. What? what and is, Harry yeah. um, in exile Absolutely. in America. Absolutely. I mean, it is. It's devastating. Yes, it is. There is a theory... There are lots of theories about why William wasn't there. Um, we hope it isn't anything to do with his wife's health. One theory is that he couldn't stomach the thought of being side by side with Prince Andrew. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me at all, because when you look at it, it had to be something which really affected his life or his emotions very carefully, yeah. because he lives five minutes five away. Minutes he literally lives a five-minute walk away, and he only gave 45 minutes notice yes. he wasn't coming. Well, yeah. Now, that has to be something extremely uh, Maybe desperate. Maybe saw the guests who saw Prince Andrew. Well, thought, that wouldn't I be a shock, though, it. would it? Well, no, the, the Royal, Royal Protection Squad will actually circulate a list of attendees, yeah. and that'll be everybody, and they normally circulate that only about two hours beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It can oh, be right. very close so you to may it. have just seen it. He may have just seen it and takes, you know, up with this I will not put. Yeah. Well, yeah. then surely... But, but, of course, but the Greek royal family... Yeah. Uh, it's related royal. to but, our royal family. Yeah, but, they, <laughs> but they invited Andrew. 
Oh, did the they? invitation came from well, the yeah. Greeks. Well, that could well have been then why uh, William wouldn't have known he was there yeah. until he got the list that exactly. uh, Stephen's talking yeah. about. But if yeah. that's the case, yeah. what power does Prince William have to say to his uncle? Here, sling your rocks. Mm. Well, down. Not, not only that, he should actually say it to, the, to King Constantine's family. Look, I'm sorry, this is, this is a delicate matter, but I have to say, I mean, you amaze me yet again, Andy, your knowledge of the inner workings of, of, of the European royal, royalty. I've been royal for 12 years. <laughs> really good. Uh, so, uh, and, and yes, the invitation again. And, and yes. Constantine was a much loved mem a friend of the royal family. Not yes, just wasn't much loved by the Greek people. No, but, no, but, no, well, and, and, but, yeah. But and, he was, much he was, he was Prince nor was Queen say, Frederica. He used to go sailing. <laughs> With Prince exactly, exactly yeah, I was going to say. Very they were very close. Very close. Oh, but, yeah. I, but I mean, you can think that Prince William is still learning the job, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Why would he have thought, even thought, that the Greek royal family would have invited his um, his uncle, Prince Andrew, who's just been from public life. Exactly. He, he, that probably never occurred to him, yeah. although his courtiers yeah. should have been a bit more on the ball, shouldn't they, and said, it's, look, we're keeping an eye on this. A, it is a plausible theory for why he wasn't there. Don't it's a very think? plausible theory, because we don't know about anything else that's no, happened, and, not and I think it would, have, it would have leaked out by now if something if else had happened. true, yeah. if it's true, it means that Prince Andrew has more power than Prince William in that family. No, state. no, I don't, I don't think it does. I think that on... Prince William could have said to him, you're not going, you're not going full stop, don't go. Mm. That is a very good point. Ultimately, he should have said, you're not coming. But we don't know how far into the arrangements that that had gone. I mean, for instance, had Prince Andrew already arrived in the procession yeah. that was around the corner? You know, yeah. I, 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 you got Mike Tyndall. You can I was just going to say, I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you on this one. I think Mike Tyndall, you know, slinging him off a bit. But the, yeah. the other thing, don't forget, yeah. we should, yeah. should forget that the king yeah. had his yeah. brother with him yeah. when they walked to church at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. It was a very pointed statement. Yeah. Do you think it was? It, I, I think it's just a, a, I, I think that was more, more to and, do with the, the dignity well. of the occasion. Well, mm. you know, I, I think it was Christmas. Christmas is a family occasion, but, yeah. it's, but this is a very public family. Yeah, yeah. yeah but at least well, Andrew wasn't at the head of the parade, no, if you see what I mean. No. He was a good four or five paces behind no. the king yeah. at Christmas. But, 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 and he's basking in it, isn't he? I know, but oh, no, absolutely. Well, loving it. Again, if you're listening on the radio, Camilla, you don't see. She arrives last because she... She went into a side door. Keeps her distance. Side door. So she didn't see... So she was not seen with him. I don't know if you've ever met Prince Andrew. You may have done yeah, in your royal duty. We interviewed him twice. Right. Now, I've never met him, but I've been in company when he's been there. Mm. And I find him the, you know, the thickest, for want of a better word. No, I'm, I'm not joking. Mm. Individual. And it's usually been at a sporting event. At one time, it was the open golf, because he was very keen golfer. Right. It was Royal Lytham St. Anne's. And people were putting points to him, and his eyes just glazed over. And I found him so arrogant in company. Everybody had to defer to him all the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody was allowed to get closer than sort of two paces and all that. And all his staff and call him sir. All his staff call him sir, and, and that's why he has no self-awareness. Do you know the story about yeah. the country yeah. house? Yeah. It sounds, I mean, he also has this ghastly ritual every night with all these teddy bears, which it, he has, they have to be placed in order on yeah. his bed. I mean, it's yeah, not by him, by his yeah, Oh, good Lord, no, no, there is the, <laughs> the, the, the royal teddy bear arranger pursuivant. Yeah. Yeah. What's this country house story? The, the country house story is he was staying in a country house, a sort of Brideshead revisited yeah. type house, yeah. and he came down in the morning, walked into the breakfast room, last of all, and then turned round and said, I think we'll do that again, and walked out. He expected everybody at the breakfast table to yeah. stand oh. up as he walked into the room. Oh. Yeah. So he went three paces into the room, turned around, said, I think we'll try that again, walked out again. Uh, Let's move on. To stand up. <laughs> that is extraordinary. Yeah.